My name is Carrie Heckler. I'm married to Chris, and he and I have six kids, all grown. We live here in Rockford, Illinois, and are at first free. So when I was uh, not in kindergarten yet, my parents uh, got a divorce, and before that, everything was great. I had a baby sister, we lived on a farmhouse uh, by my grandparents, and um, after the divorce, we moved into town, my mother, I, and my little sister. And that's when the abuse started. My mother would go to work and we'd go to people that were babysitting us, and there were relatives, and uh, the abuse started then. That went on for years, and I honestly thought that was normal, even though I hated it. And as I got older, I even remember sitting in the living room at their home and there was an episode of a TV show on talking about abuse. And that's the first time I've even heard about it in those words. And I'm sitting right there with my abuser and the wife. And I remember thinking, wait a minute, something's off here. Maybe the reason I hate my life right now is because there is something wrong. And then life just kept going on after that. And uh, I was abused for years up until early teens. So even as a teenager, I just, well, especially as a teenager, I felt worthless and um, stupid and ugly and embarrassed. The way I came to Christ was, um, and that goes together with how I was able to cope with all of this. I was just having a night where I was very angry at God. And I was basically telling him what for. Um, because I know what the Holy Spirit must have been working on me to get peace with this, because I was at a place where I was just yelling at God, basically. It was just, I was the only one home, and I'm like, God, you don't understand. You don't understand what it's like to be hurt. And I could feel like he was saying, yes, I do. Oh, God, you don't understand. You don't understand what it's like to have people just take advantage of you. And I could just hear this subtle, yes, I do. But God, you don't understand. People, they're supposed to love you, hurt you. I, yes, I do understand. And I kept hearing that. And I finally screamed out, you don't know what it's like to be naked and embarrassed and ashamed and humiliated. And I could tell you, I could have swore it was an audible voice. God said, yes, I do. I took that to the cross. And I never realized before that God, our, our Lord and Savior was naked at the cross. He took everything. And that was a huge turning point for me. Bad things were happening to me and they weren't God's fault at all, but he's scooped me through, held my hand and got me through it. Just like a parent does if the child falls down and hurts himself. And I see that now in my life with him. Well, I, you know, I still have scars from everything that happened to me and they're not gonna go away and that's okay. And I've learned that. I used to be so mad at myself because I couldn't just get over it. I might have a bad dream or something and remind me of what happened and I'd be down on myself. But I've learned that those scars are there, but I need to choose not to pick at them and make them worse by thinking about it all the time or by going there in my mind because so much is in our mind, how we purpose to think. And every morning to this day, I wake up in the morning and I say, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in, the, in this. And I choose joy. And I do that more out of habit now, but I had to do it for many years because my mind wasn't there. We're following Jesus and he was even a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. So things are gonna happen because we live in a fallen world. And I do believe God uses those times. I don't believe he does those to us, but he uses those times because as we are getting molded and, and bumped against and getting those scrapes and scars, we're getting stronger. And I think that can just speak so much to this, that you can be stronger than you would have ever been because you've sustained through the Lord and gotten through this with Him. And now you're able to share with other people and encourage them and say, you're gonna get through this too.